I already have an extra lens on the camera and now we got a mic. So yeah, we're looking like Channel 5 News, reporting live. Good afternoon. It just hit, yes, yeah, a little bit after 12. We're headed to, well, first of all, happy Sunday. If you're new to the channel, what's up? Go ahead and subscribe. I think you'll love it here. My name is Chrissy J. And um, welcome back to the new vlog. So we are headed to, are y'all a bit dirty? We're headed to my aunt's house for dinner. I told y'all that um, we were having dinner at her house today at 1. Y'all know we're all three ready. Y'all already know who we waiting on. So, <clears throat> It's 12.41. Dinner's at 1. I wanted to be arriving now because my aunt is real military. Okay? And so, 15 minutes before is on time. One time is late. So, I just try to respect that. So, yeah. So, that's what we're getting ready to do. Um, Didn't get to show y'all off of the day or anything because we're a little bit in a rush. But if I remember, I'll show y'all when I get back. But I did go ahead and put on those black, like, loafer shoes that I had got. Um... From Ross a couple weeks ago with the sweater top and then just paired it with this pearl necklace I got from Shein with these pearl earrings so that's the vibes so we're gonna play we're gonna play the game within in the trunk so we packed the game Ludi that's what she's trying to tell y'all all right y'all so I'll probably pick y'all up when I get there maybe maybe not I don't know I kind of feel out the vibes so yeah the top with the walnuts is with almond butter and peanut butter. Mm, that sounds good. So, I want to try one. A little piece. Yeah. Those are your breakfast cookies, okay? Okay. Yeah. So in the morning, <laughs> grab a glass of milk. It's got oats in it. Rolled oats. Mm -hmm. Just try one for now, y'all. He's a bold boy. Daddy, what are you? It's got Hey! Let me just take this one. Yeah. Got oats. It's mm. got brown sugar. Mm. A little bit it's of brown good sugar. Mm. In the morning. And it's got honey. Yeah. I guess some tea. Uh -huh. Some tea in the morning. Oh yeah. There you go. Pick it up, baby. That's why I said give her a, a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Oat milk, like an oat milk smoothie with some fruit or something like that in the morning. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Okay. She, can she got her fruit. Her. She got her protein. Mm-hmm. And send her on her way and eat it in bed with the car and be quiet. <laughs> Yeah. 
all you over here focus. losing. Oh, and then, what? And then, what? Just wait home. Did I get sent back home? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm losing it. Yeah, what happened? He sent you back home. For what? Because you're not paying attention. For, <laughs> for the which, which, what did you set him home with? Yeah, I was here. I did sex. Oh, and he was there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't try to, don't try to switch it up now. Hold on. When you were getting those six, you loved it. Yeah. Can't travel by yourself in these streets. Can't go too far. Oh, happy Monday. The girl is alive and she is well. Period. Okay. So, yeah, I did call out of work today using SMLA because, right, the doctor said use it, use it. Okay. And we're putting our health first. That's what we're doing. So, yeah, it is what it is. Like, I, I can't keep feeling guilty for that, like, period. Because if I drop dead, the job won't replace me tomorrow. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, so, um, I've just been very productive this morning. Dropped baby girl off, came home, cleaned up downstairs. Now I need to get upstairs. I have a whole laundry to do, so I'm going to fold that, put it away. Got to make my bed, clean rings, bathroom, her bedroom, vacuum up here. Straighten up my office and then we're gonna roll out the house. Okay, so hopefully I can get all of this done It's 11.05 right now. My goal is to get everything done and be at the house by 1230 So I don't really know how much of it I'm gonna let y'all see because the angles and all of that moving all around it just takes time and I really don't feel like you know feel like it but um I kind of want to like get out and enjoy myself. I want to kind of go for like a walk in the elements and things like that. Treat myself to a little solo lunch or something. And yeah. So I just wanted to just start the vlog. I do have a different mic on you guys. So hopefully y'all can hear me and it's picking up good. I have um, a dual mic. So it has a mic on the back and a mic on the front. Got it off Amazon. I'll link it below. I think it was about like $50. So hopefully that's good. But this camera is already a lot. It's heavy. I already have an extra lens. Why do I have music? Oh, I already have an extra lens on the camera. And now we got a mic. So yeah. We're looking like Channel 5 News. Reporting live. So I can't wait till we get the DJ Pocket 3 mini because this is a whole lot of whole lot of to be walking around with. But we don't do it because that's what we do. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do that. I already did a little something on my face because I was in here batch recording. I um, just got through recording a head talk video on DVT and pulmonary embolisms. I felt like that was just a dedicated video that was weighing on my heart to do. So I did it. And now we are going to clean up. So I'm going to try my best. Uh, I should probably start there first, but I'm going to make my bed first. I'm going to make my bed first.
can't have nothing to yourself. How much y'all want back? Sean gonna get in here and set his hand right in my bag. Watch. Today we actually are going to have a productive day. So today will be a productive day of my life. We're going to tackle my to-do list. Um, it is a work day for me. Today is Wednesday. So we're on the hump and I'm off tomorrow. So I'm just going to try to get as much done as I can today um, and I might add some things as I you know go through the day but let's go ahead and take a look at my to-do list and what I've done so far this morning so I woke up at 5 woke Rain up at 7 packed her lunchbox sent her off to school stopped and picked up my Dunkin coffee and of course y'all already know I had to get my ice and filled it up with water and then I clocked into work so the next thing I'm gonna do is make my bed I need to get some exercise in my chest has been hurting like the last couple weeks I don't know if it's coming from this cough that I've had consistently since being sick and just me coughing so much that now my chest is just kind of like tight <clears throat> or if there's other issues going on so I want to just play it out and then probably take myself to the urgent care tomorrow so yeah but I'm gonna exercise with that being said um, I need to journal do my daily devotions I need to call HR about my benefits because it's open enrollment um, I do want to wash my hair however I do not know if I'm gonna get to that today um, this is a work day and it's our girl you know what I'm saying I think I might save that for tomorrow and vlog all day sometimes i have to remind myself to vlog because i'll put the camera down and forget all about y'all um i'm also in the middle of editing a vlog so i want to complete that and get that up for you all i might possibly squeeze in recording a video or a podcast at some point today maybe like during my lunch we'll see um, I need to pay my phone bill, which is due today. And then at the end of my work day, I'm going to meet Adriana for dinner. So we're going to me and Sean's sushi spot. She doesn't like sushi, but she likes hibachi. And they have really good hibachi as well. So that is what my day looks like. And a whole, like I said, I might add some things to it. Um, there's still a little bit of laundry that I need to put away in the loft. And I could use a little tidying up in my office nothing too major for the most part but we'll see but for the most part we're gonna be productive and get some work done so i'm gonna bring y'all to work with me we're gonna knock out some audits um if you're new here i am a manager for a healthcare company and i handle like all the escalations mental health escalations billing things like that two days out of the week i do finance analysts role um which is bill audits so that's on mondays and wednesdays for me i'm off on thursdays and then on mondays and tuesdays is when i do like my regular like phone escalations mental health things like that so we're gonna go ahead and get some audits done <sighs> and, and hopefully today will be a productive vlog okay so let's go ahead and get some work done I might just come see you today You wait, I'm stuck up in my ways But love it when I'm playing games That's the only way we get away We stuck together You must forever That's why I cannot go away I hear you screaming anything You find a way to keep me in Make me think you threw some magic in Oh no
All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull a card just to kind of get my mind going. Um, the cards that I pull have affirmations on one side and then journal prompts on another just to kind of get you thinking to reflect, you know. So we're going to see what today's affirmation is going to be. I like to just blindly pull one, so let's see, um, whichever one this is. I choose to start today with a smile. What is one thing I can do today that can make someone else's life better? How can I accomplish this? Well, being that I'm home alone, um... For now at least I can start by saying something that I'm doing in the video I might say something in today's video that may inspire you resonate with you um, that could help someone you know somebody might have a task on their to-do list that they've been putting off and they may be like you know what let me get up and get it done who knows but also when my children come home I can do something for them um, I can do something nice for Sean I give him a back rub he's been complaining of his shoulder back hurting lately and then he took a fall at work the other day so he's been sore um, and I can definitely give him a back rub usually um, usually he watches TV in the garage for a little bit and I'm upstairs like editing and doing what I'm doing and then I end up falling asleep because I get up very early. He gets up early too, but he still hangs later than I do. So I usually end up falling asleep. So I haven't been able to give him a back rub, but I can do that today and I'm sure that will make him feel really good. So yeah. So that's the affirmation. We got about 40 more minutes before the alarm goes off. So all right, so I'm going to just walk y'all. Obviously, I can't show you guys everything that I'm doing or anything that I'm doing. I have to blur out the screen because of HIPAA. But I'll just walk you guys through what I do. How did she find that? Oh, I I don't even know how she found that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on real quick. Alright, just to give y'all just a little info on what exactly it is I do um, during my finance analyst days. I pretty much have to audit the account. So, we use 1,855 systems, okay? I honestly feel like we use way too many systems so but anywho to organize my work i use OneNote. i like to use one a lot you can do a bunch of different things with one you can create um what looks like to be an excel spreadsheet um you can put pictures in one you can create like books folders tabs however you want to call them um, I love OneNote. Love OneNote. I started using it when I came over, um, to this, uh, department. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. And then, um, <clears throat> okay, cool. So, what I do is I pull from what we call work baskets. And this is our main system that we use. And they're categorized by either reinstatements, refunds, things like that. Eligibility, um, you know, if a member's plan was terminated, then we, um, and they were requesting, you know, to be reinstated, then we would do that. I don't really work that basket anymore. I'm more on refunds. So it's pretty much, we moved over to a new billing system. And during the migration, People who were on auto pay also called in and made their payment manually because they were advised to do so, thinking that the new system would not pull the auto pay, but it did. So there's a lot of double payments. 
So what we do is we go into the member's account, take a look to see if there's a credit reflecting on the account. Sometimes it is and sometimes it is not reflecting. So what I then do is I go into my Excel calculator that we use, punch in the numbers. So we go back two years depending on the account or what state they live in. And we take a look at the coverage period, how much their premiums were for the coverage period, and how much they were billed versus how much they paid, if any refunds were given to them, things like that, any adjustments. And then it calculates it and lets us know the member is owed X amount of money. It needs to match the system. Sometimes it doesn't and we have to kind of manipulate it to do so. Um, and there's just a lot of ping-ponging back and forth between us and other departments, other analysts. Um, sometimes the, the credit is shown on the account, but it's in pending bill status, which means if it's pending the bill, like if it's pending in bill status, it's not complete, I cannot process the refund. It has to show complete, and then it will allow me to release the funds to the member. Now, if the member paid by debit card or mailed in a check, then they're obviously going to get a check in the mail. But if they paid by their credit card, then I can push it right back to them um, immediately. Um, that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. And then we just, we, sometimes we have to wait. Like if we, like I said, we migrated to a new billing system. So sometimes all of the member's payments are not reflecting um the credit is not adding up the, it's just you know it's always something and we'll just communicate with other departments we have to wait on them and it's like okay you need to do this you need to submit this you need to do that you know it's just a whole lot of moving hands with it but that's pretty much what i do y'all um it can be very overwhelming i'm not gonna lie it can be very very overwhelming anytime you're dealing with numbers especially dealing with people's money it can be very overwhelming but for the most part after a certain period of the month like right now we're on the 23rd of the month our bill cycle runs between the 9th and the like 15th so after that all bills should have gone out for the pre for the following month and with insurance you prepay so the last day of each month you're paying for the month that we're going into just like you would with your mortgage rent whatever so after a while like around now i start to deny refunds so like if they're like oh I, um i made a double payment and i paid for november i want a refund for november well we already billed for november when the bill cycle is the 23rd of the month november is literally due coming up and so i would deny the refund and let them know that your credit was applied to november's premium so that's pretty much that. Um, they can fight that. If they say, you know, anything of like a hardship, I need my money now, I'll pay it by November 1st, whatever the case is, then we'll release the money to them. But for the most part, we rarely get pushed back um, when we're so close to the due date. So that, in a nutshell, that's what I do. Really can't show y'all nothing. Like I said, it's HIPAA, people's private information and stuff like that. But that's the gist of what I do. Never in a million years signed up for this. Um, I used to love math, but as I got older, I was like, no, it's not for me. I don't, I don't want it. Um, but here we are, you know what I'm saying? Here we are. And it's just one extra skill, um, that I can add to my resume. Um, it pays very well. Any, any company, it pays pretty decent to be a finance analyst. So that's cool. But that, that's what I'm doing. So, the, my my cube, my time cube is still flashing, so we're not quite at the 60-minute mark. I think we have about 15 more minutes or so. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, and then when it goes off, we'll get up and move around, make the bed, do some stuff like that. All right, y'all, that is the timer. So, I just set it up like this, and then it goes off. So, now we're going to get up, and we're going to go make our Oh, let me tell my coworker I'll be right back. We're gonna go make the bed real quick. One thing that I do 
like doing that makes me feel good is making my bed. When I make my bed, it just seems, I don't know. It just feels like my day is thrown off. <laughs> Um, I have some turkey, pepperoni, cheese, then crackers and grapes. That's what we're gonna do. Adult on triple job. Doesn't that look good? That's it. That'll hold me over till dinner.
on. I'm on lunch break. I'm gonna start getting my walk on. My company. Come on, just walk to the um mailbox and back. All right, y'all. Walk is done. Oh, feel good. Walked a little over a mile. Sean was trying to coerce me into going with him to get rain, but I was like, no, I have to be back to work. And I know I'm not gonna make it back in time if I go get her with you. It's already 4.30, I gotta be back by five. So I'm just getting ready to go get some ice and then I'm gonna get back to work. I'm debating on if I wanna stop at the market, run in there real quick and get me some fruit or something, but I'm not, nope. I'm gonna get the ice again. Baby girl's here, so y'all know my day is about to be no longer because she takes all the attention. But I did want to open up a package I got when we walked to the um, mailbox. I had a package. I told y'all I ordered like four or five things from Shein. I already showed you guys the shoes. I think I did those. Those black heels down there, right there. But. I don't even remember what I ordered. I don't know if everything is in here. I don't know. I might just check my order. Maybe some more things are on their way, or I didn't order even four things. But anyway, I got this sweater. It's like a cardigan. I thought it was really cute. This is it. I want to wear. I could pay. I want to the the look that I wanted to go with this was um, some like leather pants and then those shoes that I had. Oh yeah, these are kind of like pleather pants, but these aren't these this, these aren't what I got to go with that. But okay, different. I don't know how much I like them, but we'll see. We'll try them on and see what they give. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Alright. And, um... I definitely ordered more. I ordered a dress. That's one thing about Shein. I'm noticing and I don't really like it too much. They're sending my stuff separately. Like, I don't like that. What's that about? I don't know about that. But anyway, that wasn't really nothing to even show y'all. I thought it was going to be all that stuff. But let me just go on here because I know I wouldn't. I know for a fact I ordered a dress to go with those boots. So I know I ain't going crazy. <clears throat> and then when I get off work, I'm going to throw something on. Probably a little bit before I get off. Freshen up myself. And then I'm going to meet Adriana for dinner. Her birthday was yesterday. So... We're going to have birthday dinner. I'm treating her to dinner. Um, the place that we're going to was closed yesterday. So, oh yeah, I'm missing, I'm missing two more pieces. Or no, yeah, I'm missing two more pieces. So I ordered these pants. Why isn't it showing the pants? So weird. I don't know. I'm about to figure it out because I'm not. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. And then I ordered this dress. Okay, the dress has shipped. <clears throat> I ordered this dress. If y'all can see that. And then oh, they asked me to take it off. And then I ordered. I don't know. Anywho, let me get some work done. I'll figure that out. And I'll hit y'all back. What's up, you guys? So, the end of the night has arrived. And I probably should have talked to y'all. Turn y'all on when I got in the daggone car. Because I really need to be walking out this door. Hold on. Oh, goodness. Girl, get yourself together. Then I don't even have my daggone keys. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just leave this light on. 
the demo. We need to close the bar. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm uh, in a little bit of a rush. better because it's dark in here too <sighs> so i'm just gonna make this really really quick um the end of the night has arrived oh, let me not be rude let me not be rude the end of my day has arrived i'm getting ready to meet adriana and i didn't even bother to get dressed and put on nothing i just left on what i had on because we're literally going to get hibachi sushi um, she doesn't eat sushi, but I do. However, I've had sushi a lot lately, so I think I'm gonna go for a hibachi. I think that's the mood that I'm in. So, um, Sean just came back from getting picking Kaden up from youth night at church, and um, he literally just ran back out to go. <laughs> excuse me get rain something to eat because he knew that if he would have did all, all of that i would have been late because i already pushed her back 15 minutes and i'm like why why do you wait till i got things to do to be wanting to be doing a through z it'd be so annoying sometimes but anyway um everything works out so i'm gonna really have me a little girl's night i'll probably pick it up my side to side what i'm gonna eat and i'll show you guys Adrian, I'm gonna say what's up to y'all.